Hi, this is going to be a haul video of some things I've accumulated over the past several weeks. And I hope uh, I'm in focus. Okay. I will start with a couple of birthday gifts I got from my mother. And these came from Amazon. I got this nice pencil case. I think this brand is uh, uh, BT Sky, I believe. Um, I got this to house my student grade watercolor pencils. I had each brand of different pouches, but I wanted to consolidate them all into one. And uh, I just put in the pencils um, I intend to keep. I have uh, a couple of sets I'm going to donate, but uh, I'll show you what I have in here. Um, starting with the Derwent Academy and then I have uh, Cezanne those pencils I got from Jerry's Artorama my swatches and then my Stedlers right here and then goes into my Reeves more here and finally Crayolas so that's the first thing I wanted to show very nice case next thing I got also for my birthday and from Amazon is this 36 set of uh, skin and hair tone markers from Shuttle Art and it comes in this really nice case. There we go. I um I swatched them, put them in in a a color order that made sense to me. And here's the swatch. The set also came with a pad of marker paper and this I used um a sheet of it to do my swatches and I already did a coloring using these in my um, Prima Princess's uh, coloring book. I like them. Um, it also comes with a blender. I'm not really sure how to use that. I'm going to watch some tutorials and get an idea how to use it. I think I know how, but um, it's uh, not not necessarily for for blending colors. I think um, I saw a, a tutorial from Arteza talking about uh, blender markers. I think I'm going to go back and rewatch that again and get some ideas. But yeah, this is a very nice case and it fits into my drawer very nicely. And uh, they do recommend, of course, keeping your markers flat this way instead of, you know, uh, standing upright. So that's that set. That's the Shuttle Art skin tone markers. Next from Walmart, I got this uh, cute little case to house my um, Colors of the World Crayola uh, water-based markers. I had I had these in two separate pouches, but I wanted to put them all into one case, and they fit in here perfectly. So this is where I keep my uh, Colors of the World markers. I paid full price of this, and then last week I saw it. I saw one just like it in the clearance aisle for half price <laughs> figures. But it had a cat face on. I couldn't resist. And also from Walmart. I got, this is a um, abstract art kit from Faber-Castell and um, it includes some mini palettes. I'll show you everything this set includes. 
Yeah. You get a palette, I mean a palette knife and uh, a little plastic uh, spoon to stir and mix your colors onto these palettes. It comes with uh, four palettes just like this and I've already done a few designs. Something fun, something different. This one I um, also used my set of King Art gel sticks with this one because the only two colors um, that uh, they had in the kit were uh, this is uh, bubblegum and mango. Those were only two gelatos in this kit. And I also get this really beautiful uh, gel paint, this gold gel paint. And um, you can see how it shines. And you also get uh, spackle, whip spackle, and pigments. And what you do, you mix the uh, pigments into the spackle and stir it up and then smear it onto your canvas. And um, you can also use the uh, gelatos for background color like I did with these two. And um, I think I also used um, some acrylic paint on this one as well. Because like I said, the only, this, this one was done sol uh, solely with uh, the materials that came with the kit. And so that's the uh, Faber-Castell Abstract Art Kit. I forget what I paid for it. Um, I'm thinking around $10 maybe. Um, now what I did, I, I bought uh, a couple of um, palettes to, to uh, uh, canvases rather bought a couple of uh, canvases to try with this but um, the canvases I got were strictly for acrylic and um, the gel sticks uh, remain tacky and um, gelatinous on the surface they didn't dry so um, if you want if you're interested in this kit and need more of these you probably have to go through Faber-Castell to get some more that go specifically with this kit So that's the Faber-Castell Abstract Art Kit. And next, from Arteza, I got a set of 24 gouache. And these are the colors. I keep them in this little pouch here. I got, uh, t uh, where did I get this? Oh, it was uh, TJ Maxx. So I keep the, uh, the uh, gouache tubes in here. So that's from Arteza. From AliExpress, I got a set of uh, skin tone pastel pencils and show you what they look like. These are the colors. I, I did a coloring in um, Hannah Carlson uh, coloring book with using these and it came out really nice uh, in fact I'll show you real quick Let 
There we go. What I did, I um, her skin, I used um, a gel stick and smeared it and then uh, let it dry. And then I went over it with the pastel pencils to give it some shading. So those were from AliExpress and that's the box they come in. I did have uh, a little bit of trouble sharpening one of them. It was this one here. I sharpened it um, to a point and the lead came out. The tip of it came out so um, I think what I'll do from now on is uh, I won't sharpen them to a point and they seem to work all right uh, using them that way. So those were from AliExpress. Also while I'm thinking of it, I'll give you a better look at these. Um, these markers have a bullet tip on one end and a chisel on the other. They don't have a brush tip on these. That may be a plus or a neg negative. Uh, so just be mindful of that if you're if these look interesting to you, those are the uh, the ends that they contain a, a, a bullet and a chisel. And finally, I at uh, from Walmart, I got this. I got this in the uh, kids section where they have the art kits, and uh, this is. Called from Influencer Style and Create and it has paper dolls in it that you can uh, dress up and put shiny clothing on. I'll open it up for you. The reason I got this was for the light box because I wanted to uh, practice watercolors and I can't put watercolor paper through my printer so I thought the next best, best thing would be to find a cheap light box. I didn't want to spend a fortune on a light box or something that I'm not going to use very often just for practice and I was looking in Walmart and to see what they had and um, they also had some Crayola light boxes with a similar idea with uh, animals you can draw uh, using the light box. And this one uh, it was the same price, around $20 for the Crayola ones and this one. And uh, this one appealed to me because It came with figures that uh, I've been practicing with. Put them on the uh, light box and then put your watercolor paper over it and trace them. And uh, I'll show you a couple of examples of what I've done here. Yeah, that's one thing I've done. And here's another one. Uh, that came from a, a, a coloring book called Fashion Dresses. So, how it works is, let me see if I can find a piece of uh, watercolor paper. I can show you it this way. You just put this over your figures and the light switch is right here. There we go. Part
pardon the uh, messy uh, paint on it, but you can see, you can trace that onto the uh, watercolor paper. And that's, that's why I got this, was for mainly for the light box. Oops! <laughs> I gotta see to put, turn the light back on. Oh, my cat says hi, by the way. And it also, um, if you have kids that might be interested in, in something like this, it also comes with outfits that you can dress up uh, paper dolls with. And I played around with one. There we go. And what you do, these have little sticky backs you peel off and then uh, put onto your model. And then it has, yeah. And this pouch here, it has the foil, foiling that you can uh, stick on to your article of clothing and make a cute little shiny paper doll. Um, I didn't, like I said, I didn't get the kit for that. Uh, I mean, I got it for the light box. So, anyway, I think, I think that's it. I'll show you the cover of this real quick. Style and Create Ink Influencer. I think um, these two girls have a TikTok account and uh, they sponsor this. And you uh, put your, you know, you can, I guess, yeah, make it shiny. It has a Bear with me. There we go. I think this is something that you can put behind it too. And then display it and show it off. <laughs> I don't care about that, but you might have a, a kid who's into fashion and paper dolls. I don't know if um, they have refills for any of these things, such as the, uh, I know they only give you so many foil packets in this kit. So I know other customers uh, online, um, customers online who got this for their kids said that the, uh, the foil packets ran out really quick and they could find anywhere where there's refills for these so just keep that in mind all right that is my little haul for now you know I haven't bought any coloring books this year not one I think the last one I think it arrived in the mail in January and that was the fashion dresses one I went on a no buy, no book buying kick this year because I figured I've got an you know I, I need to uh, conserve room <laughs> and uh, I'll, I'll just enjoy what I have maybe maybe I might buy you know a few next year I don't know but uh, I know I do have a, have my eye on some of them and there's um, couple of fashion ones I saw that uh, that uh, I was interested in but uh, anyway that's my little haul I hope you enjoyed and uh, I'll see you in the next one